Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video today just to show you something neat. Uh, the new GoPro Player app came out, uh, program, and uh, it allows you to do the uh, HyperSmooth Pro uh, for no charge uh, with the GoPro. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. Uh, we're, you're just going to navigate. I usually go to google.com and then just start with GoPro uh, Player, and then it'll take you to this site here. And then we'll just be going ahead and because we're on Windows, click the Get It from Microsoft. Uh, that puppy will download. We're just going to start fresh just to show you. So get it from Microsoft. And then we're going to go to download. And now that downloaded. So let's go ahead and start it. Uh, receiving info, starting download. And what's cool about this is previously the HyperSmooth Pro, it used to be a paid uh, subscription. So, that. Okay. And now, here, here's what's interesting. You see how it says Real Steady is now HyperSmooth Pro and included with a premium plus subscription. So, you're just going to ignore that. It's actually now uh, included. They just haven't updated this little page. So, we'll sort of show you that. Open media. I'll just open a quick file here. So I'll open a file. Okay, so now we got our file. So now what's this? Apply HyperSmooth Pro for improved stabilization? Yes. Now, uh, yeah, so as you saw in the little intro, the little intro is wrong. He, it's now included for free. And this will kind of do its thing and apply to the video. And after this is done, it honestly takes. I mean, depending on how fast your computer is, uh, it could take a minute or two. Mine usually takes several minutes. But once it's done applying, uh, you'll have a little graph here for like custom smoothness settings and stabilization settings. So overall, really cool. So here we are. You can see how it's changed. Now, if you want to change it, you can go over here. Hyper Smooth Pro on, advanced, and now you can change the smoothness levels. So say you can crank it up. And I'm already using, you know, the in-camera stabilization. This is just a layer on top. So I'll make sure we're at lens correction. It's not going to warp. It's 50, 16 by 9. We'll hit apply. We'll let it do its thing. And it takes another minute or two, depending on your computer. And uh, yeah, what's really cool with this is you can change that stabilization on the